Afternoon everyone, it's Jo here and welcome to my first ever pumpkin carving. So the video is a little bit different today, I asked if anybody would want to see this and a few people said they would so yeah I'm doing it today. I have never carved a pumpkin before in my entire life. As of yesterday I'd never even picked up a pumpkin and this weighs more than I ever thought it would. I had to carry this on from Asda yesterday. I paid £3 for it. I'm really happy with it. Um, these were the biggest ones they had. I tried to pick one that looked quite nice from the outside. And yeah, I'm going to just talk about some things. Um, I've asked some questions and people said that they would like to know a bit more about me. So yeah, I'm just going to basically tell you about me and try and carve this pumpkin. I'm going to be using, this is the Petrifying Pumpkin Party Kit from Asda. It was 87p. I have no idea if this is going to work. Like I said, obviously I've never done this before and I'm just going to give it a go while I talk about myself. So if you're new here, I'm Jo. I do craft videos, occasional vlog video and I do haul videos. If you're returning, you know me and it's great to see you again, everybody. And as always, thank you for your continued support. And, you know, I do really, really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It means so much to me. What I will say is, I've mentioned it briefly a couple of times about um, my health. Sorry, I'm <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. Um, I suppose you just put it in and then carve. So um, yeah, I'll just mention briefly. I've I, in a few of my videos, I've touched briefly about my health. I um, I'm not going to get into it today. It's a really important topic, and I don't want to talk about it while I'm carving a pumpkin because I just don't think it's right to speak about the health things that I go through while I'm carving a pumpkin so I'm gonna save I'm gonna do a video next week explaining about my illness and how it affects me and what I have to deal with day to day so I'm gonna do that next week but just to touch briefly obviously I am I've not been very well over the last 17 years and I'll get into it more next week so I'm gonna keep it more light-hearted today while I'm carving a pumpkin so before I start rambling, I suppose I just stick this in and cut around the top part and then pull everything out. I've protected the table with some black bags. I was going to go to Poundland and, um, oh, I was going to go to Poundland and um, get a tablecloth to protect the table, but the weather's so bad today and I, um, left my umbrella at the charity shop so I um, I just used some black bags instead. I had a look in Asda for tablecloths and they didn't, they didn't have any plastic ones so I just thought I'd use some black bags and yeah that's the story up to now of the pumpkin or setting up for doing the pumpkin um, so yeah, a little bit about me. Um, obviously, my name's Jo. I am 37 years young. Oh, I've got to the point now where I just I just know I'm closer to 40 than I am to 30. And I try not to think about it too much. But I've always lived by the, uh, the idea that life begins at 40. So... I'm trying to uh, put off the fact that I'm worrying about getting to 40 years old. Um, not that there's anything wrong with being 40 years old. It's just uh, from what I've been through in my life and where I ha where I am in life, I feel like I've not done much um, for 37 years on this earth. So I uh, I sometimes wish obviously that I haven't gone through what I've gone through but it can't be helped and I'm just trying to make the most of it and uh, that's why I've enjoyed doing these videos and starting my YouTube channel so much because 
it's just really given me something to focus on and something to look forward to and um, basically something to get out of bed for in the morning and uh, talking to you lot as well it's just been absolutely amazing i've had so much fun now that didn't seem as difficult as i thought it was gonna be <laughs> this is a bit i'm dreading um oh wow okay i wasn't expecting it to look like that i wasn't expecting that um how do you get this out do you just pull it out or take it oh oh guys what am i doing with my life right okay so we just pull it um yeah so i live in a little market town i was um how <laughs> can you tell i'm not enjoying this oh is this just supposed to pull out i don't think this is So, sorry, I'm just concentrating. I should be talking. So, oh guys, this is disgusting. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I live in a little market town in the north of the UK. I was originally born in Manchester, um, North Manchester, and that's where I grew up. And I had a normal childhood. Uh, nothing exciting to report. Um, I obviously went to high school, did my GCSEs, and then I went to college and I did music. I've always done music since the age of eight. I've played all sorts of different instruments. Um, I played brass, I was in an orchestra, um, I play bass, I sing. Um, oh. I played violin, I played steel pans, um, I've done all sorts of things musically. I played um, at the GMX Centre for the Commonwealth Games bid. Um, I've soloed at the Bridgewater Hall, playing brass. And yeah, music was a massive part of my life. I've always been... Oh, guys. <laughs> I've always been creative. I understand now why I've never done this before. I've always been creative um, in one way or another, either through dance or music and then obviously my crafting. Um, I've never I've never really been into my crafting as much as I have been over the last couple of months. I've done little bits every now and again, but um, yeah, the last couple of months have been absolutely fantastic. Before I started doing my YouTube video, my main craft was cross stitch. Um, and I've not really stitched that much since I've been doing these videos. But I should have took my rings off. <laughs> and um, yeah, I've not really sti stitched much. I've done a little bit every now and again. But obviously I've been concentrating on doing these videos. Um, and I haven't shown any of my cross stitch on this channel. But how I came about starting this channel was really just by fluke. It was it was it was just by chance. I'd always wanted to do a YouTube channel, and I did start a YouTube channel. Um, it's you know what I can't even I don't even know what my other channel's called it's been that long since I've been on it it's been about six seven months since I've been on it but it's all to do with cross stitch and um I knew I wanted to do something else I wanted to know the channel that wasn't um cross stitch and I'd always had it in the back of my mind that that's what I wanted to do and
sorry I have to <laughs> and um yeah I knew I always wanted to um do something and it was always in the back of my mind and one day I just popped in Poundland and I bought um one of the herb and thyme I think it or rosemary and thyme herb boxes from the garden section and I was just looking around and I saw some flowers and I thought oh they look really really nice and then I uh, put the flowers that I found that were in the wedding section in Poundland and I put them in the tub just to carry them because I didn't have a basket and one of the members of staff said to me she said oh that's really pretty she said that looks so nice she said I've not seen anybody else do that and then she said there's a there's a face she said are you on Facebook so I said oh yeah I, I am on Facebook so she said well there's a there's an appreciation society Facebook page for anything that's on you know Poundland for people and they post all sorts of stuff the crafts that they've done you know ideas of things that they've bought you know from Poundland and what they've done with them and she said you should have a look it'd be really good so and she said you should put what you've you know the, the flowers in the tub on so I was like oh I'll have a look at that so I got home and jumped on Facebook and then put the um found the site and I was like oh this is really good and I posted pictures of what I created with the flowers in the box and the response I got was overwhelming everyone was like oh how have you done this and how have you done that and and um you know can you t can you tell me how you did it and um I was like yeah of course um so I then started going in Poundland a lot more because I've been able to leave the house um, and I was like oh what else can I do and then I thought well if everybody's going to ask me how I've done it I might as well make a video showing how I've done it so that's basically how the channel started um, it was so that when I made things people could see how I'd done them and then they could make them themselves instead of me you know obviously replying to everybody individually so yeah that's how the my channel started and yeah I've absolutely loved every minute of it although at this moment in time I'm really not enjoying this as I'm sure you can tell um so yeah so that's how the channel came about and it was just by chance of that one lady in Poundland saying to me, have you heard of the Appreciation Society? So, I am single. I am not married. I've never been married. I am, I've got no children. I have two sisters that are both older than me. And yeah that's about it really personally in my personal life I moved to where I live now um, due to work um, which unfortunately I don't have that job anymore oh guys um, due to me needing some time off a large amount of time off they couldn't keep my job open anymore so um, yeah I lost my job but what I normally do when I am working is I'm normally a charity shop manager that's the field that I work in um, I absolutely love it as I'm sure if you've seen my videos you know I'm in charity shops all the time I'm volunteering one at the moment just to get me out of the house a little bit and uh, yeah that's what I normally do I normally run a charity shop I just it's like no other job that you could ever imagine it's always so different every single day you never know what's going to come through the door and it's just amazing you just get given a bag of stuff and it's like oh what's in this and you and you know you have a route through and you sort it all out and you put it in your shop and you see it sell and you know that you're raising money for a good cause and you've got volunteers for people that you know want to donate a time for nothing so everybody's really sweet and everybody's really friendly and uh, yeah it's just a really nice atmosphere to work into or working even and I think 
I'm done with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and wash my hands. I'll cut the video so you don't have to see me do this. But I think that's about it. So I'm just going to go and wash my hands and I'll cut the video and I'll be back in a bit. I'm just going to use a black marker to draw my design. I'm going to keep it really simple because I've never done this before. So I'm just going to draw some eyes, etc. and take it from there. So um, so yeah, I moved here for work, lost my job and now I'm just trying to get myself healthy and better again um so that i can uh, get back into the world of work um so that's basically where i am up to now in my life and uh, i'm just going to enjoy what i'm doing at the moment obviously making videos um, and coming up with new ideas and then for the future of my channel I suppose it's just going to be a case of hoping that it grows And uh, seeing where it takes me and I'm saving up to get a proper camera so that I can do better quality of videos obviously at the moment I'm just using my phone but I would love to uh, get a decent camera Um. The only thing is, if I get a decent camera, I'm going to have to get a laptop or a computer to go with it because I don't have one. I just use my phone for everything. So it's not a case of, oh, I can just get a new camera and then start filming. I need a computer or a laptop to um, obviously put the video onto it and then edit it from there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to do it that way and then we'll just have to take it from there and see what happens so um, yeah it's it's exciting and like I said I am really enjoying it and the response that I've got has been brilliant. I just, your comments and, you know, even just giving it a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoying it um, really, really, really helps. And you all have so many amazing ideas. So I'm going to start, I'm going to, over the next couple of months, obviously I'm going to be doing the Christmas crafts, which I'm so excited to start. I've, um, I've really been looking forward to starting the Christmas stuff and I just can't wait any longer I'm just gonna have to start them I don't know if I'm gonna just do all Christmas crafts from now up until December I think that might be a little bit too much um, and it's not only that a lot of people might not just want to see Christmas stuff so I'm going to do a fair amount of Christmas stuff this year um, 
and I might do an occasional um I might do an occasional other craft in between for stuff for my house. I'll have to see how it goes. Um I know that I've started one project that I still need to get some stuff from from Poundland because um, I ran out and they haven't got any in. Um, so once that comes in, I will definitely be finishing that project. And then... I'm going to go all out this year. So for the last, obviously due to ill health, the last couple of years I haven't celebrated Christmas. I've not even put the Christmas tree up. I've not done anything. And... Um, this year I'm going to go all out. So I did mention briefly about doing Vlogmas. I think I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to do it every day. I think I'm just going to do it every other day because to be honest with you, I don't do enough interesting stuff for it to be interesting enough for every day. So I'll see how I get on. I'm going to do a bit, but I'm definitely going to show you me decorating the flat. And I've decided I've got hundreds and hundreds of Christmas decorations. I don't even know why I've got so many Christmas decorations. And I've decided what I'm going to do this year is um, I'm going to put it all up. And if it doesn't go up, then I'm going to donate it to charity shop. Um, because obviously I don't need it. I'm probably going to buy a lot as well, especially from Poundland. Obviously I'm doing my crafts. But I've got three trees and uh, the reason I've got three trees is I've got the one that I had as a child growing up um, it's got to the point now where my mum can she's not well enough to actually put it up anymore so she got rid of it well I say she got rid of it she uh, got an, um, a fibre optic one and she just puts that up now so she asked me if I wanted the Christmas tree and I said of course because obviously it just reminds me of growing up and being a kid. So I have that Christmas tree which is normally and all the decorations for it and it's normally blue and it's blue and white. And then I've got my Christmas tree that I bought which is full of fake snow. I got it from Asda. I think I paid 30 for it a couple of years ago and that's all decorated in blue and white so I'm going to put them two up in my living room and then I've got another tree that I had years and years ago which was my first ever Christmas tree I bought myself um, when I moved out from my parents and I'm going to do that all in reds and golds and that's going to be in my hallway so I'm going to do blues and whites in the living room because they're the colours of my living room normally and then I'm going to do golds and reds in the hall so when I do my Christmas crafts they will be a mixture of blue and white Christmas crafts and red and gold Christmas crafts so it's not all going to be one colour and yeah um, I'm really looking forward to it I'm not going to start putting my decorations up until the 1st of December obviously I'll be making stuff before that but um, yeah I'm not actually going to put any of it up till then so that's what's going to be coming in the future for my channel. Right guys, I've done the eyes. I'm not going to I'm not going to show you what he looks like at the moment, but what I am going to do is I'm going to um finish him off and then I'll take some pictures obviously. And you'll get to see him at the end. I'll take him in my hall. I've got no windows in my hall, so it's dark enough for me to put candle in him. Um, 
so you can see what it looks like once it's finished but this video is going to get quite long if I carry on but I've explained a little bit more about me and you've seen my reaction when I first opened a pumpkin you've seen me trying to carve um, to be honest with you I'll just do a quick thing of what I think for I've never done it because I knew it was going to be messy so that's what's always put me off doing it before it is as messy as I thought it would be um, I think I had that pretty uh, set in my mind that it was going to be really messy the carving it is actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be I didn't think it would be that easy to carve it I thought it would be really hard to cut through so I'm quite impressed with that um, it's a lot easier than I thought would I do it again? <sighs> at this moment in time I would probably say no um, if I had kids I definitely would I don't know if I would do it again but I haven't seen it lit up yet so I know once I've got a candle in it and I see it light, lit up I'm probably going to want to uh, do this again so we shall see but for now I'm going to say no and then it will probably change to a yes so a little bit different today guys um, I just thought it would be nice to actually sit down with you and um, talk a little bit more about me and so you get to know me a little bit better and yeah I will see you on Sunday for Sunday's Halloween craft I will be using pumpkins but I won't be carving them um, I'm going to do something else with them and then on Monday I'm going to do my first Christmas craft on Tuesday I might do a video talking about my illness um, if anybody would like to know more about that and then Wednesday will be a, another craft video so for now guys take care um, I'll see you all soon and have a wonderful weekend bye for now bye hey guys so here he is he's all lit up and I'm really chuffed with him and like I said yeah I think I'm gonna end up doing this in the future because um, I love how it looks now that it's lit up so I just wanted to do something really simple because it's the first time I've ever done it but yeah I'm super happy with him and it's been an experience and I'm glad I got to share it with you guys so yeah my first ever pumpkin I've ever carved and probably will not be my last now all right take care for now bye